Thank you so much to Wix.com for sponsoring this video today. If you want to build an amazing website, go check out Wix.com. Thank you so much, Wix. You the best. Now, let's get into the studio vlog, shall we? from a slightly different setting. I'm currently sat in mine and Emily's favorite coffee shop with Emily. Hi. And it is Friday, which means it's coffee day and inspiration day, we like to call it. We haven't created Fridays. We haven't thought of a proper name for it. But basically what we do is we come here and we chill, we get a coffee, we get food, and we bring our sketchbooks and iPads and kind of do some new projects and some ideas uh, to help brainstorm to keep the um, products fresh. So today's studio vlog is going to be slightly different and I'm going to be doing hopefully some washi tape the first time I've ever ever tried to design or send off for some washi tape so it'll be interesting to see over the next few weeks when we get it in how it turns out so I want to do some washi tape I also want to do some Valentine's um, stickers of Gingy and Spice which are new additions to my Etsy store and stuff like that and we're gonna get our sketchbooks out because I really want to have a sticker set with Gingy and Spice in it so that's what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna plan the sketches and stuff um, so yeah I'm gonna get into it I'm gonna eat my food and drink my tasty coffee and then let's get into the studio vlog shall we? We are back in the studio. Oh, I better pause this. We are back in the studio after a lovely coffee morning meeting thing. It is now actually three o'clock, so it's pretty late. But this morning we came in, did some orders, went and did our weekly kind of chilled out coffee meeting creative morning thing. And now we're back in the office and we're getting to work on all the orders. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been enjoying the designers worst nightmare range with the comic sans from last week's vlog um so so funny if you're new to my channel go check out last week's vlog it's yeah i use comic sans um i'm just making art prints of them now so i can put them in my etsy store and they'll be going live today uh because not everyone can afford uh the shipping price for mugs because mugs costs a lot to ship with royal mail for some reason so i'm making them as art prints as well because i think it's pretty funny um 
And then I've got my to-do list journal out and I'm going to make a list of to do things to make and stuff. We're going to get to work and going to make lots of stuff for your orders like mugs and stuff. So that's pretty much what we're doing today. Mug making and stuff like that. And I really really want to get some gingy and spice washi tape sent off but because it's quite late already and we only have three hours worth of work I don't think this is going to get done today, possibly tomorrow. So let's get to work shall we? late in the week i haven't really filmed the last few days because there's been nothing interesting to film at all emily got to work on packaging your orders and everything and i basically filmed a review video yesterday and did all the editing and uploading and stuff like that and i did all kind of the more boring stuff like replying to emails and stuff like that and uh, the fun stuff as well like replying to your comments on YouTube and stuff so I spent the whole day yesterday doing that so there's nothing to film and on Monday me and Emily just hammered the orders to get the orders done from the weekend done so I didn't have time to film then either but today's agenda is something a little bit more fun and we're going to try and get to work on this washi tape because I really really need to send this off now it's now the 16th of January and I have no idea how long washi tape takes to manufacture and get delivered to me so I really really need to send this off in time for Valentine's Day so I need to do that and I also would really like to do the gingy uh, stickers, the Valentine's stickers which you'll see me sketch in the coffee shop on Friday. So that is the agenda today but first of all I'm going to get a coffee and I'm going to process a few orders that need um, shipping today and then I'm going to get my nails done. So this is a before and I will show you the after very soon. in the orders oh. and I went downstairs to reception and FedEx have delivered my nail pins so um, it's not the new ones it's just a restock but I thought we could do a quick unboxing before we get into making some stickers and stuff I'm so excited this is a really big box of pins Oh my goodness, so 
before I ordered some glitter pins the first time I've changed my Lucky Charm pins and I got glitter ones I so thought it's the first time opening them and I changed my colour for um changed my colour for one of my creative heart pins so we'll have to see how that turns out too. Yee 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 this is so oh. I'm so excited. Okay, so the first one is pudding in a snowman outfit and you will have seen the pin before. Let's open him up, shall we? Cute. So adorable. Just as adorable as ever. Look at him. Do you like my nails as well? I've got some Valentine's nails done. How cool is that? Oh, I love him. Got the Let's Hugo ones. Which look like this. These are so tiny and adorable. I literally love them. So there's my Let's Hugo ones. Oh, they look really good. Uh, so I've changed it to silver plating as well rather than gold so it's just had a little bit of a colour change I thought it'd be fun to collect and I really like this colour scheme actually this looks really pretty so this is the new creative heart ones if it would focus and they look super super cute so yeah I'm really happy with how that turned out I don't know why it's not focusing but um, it's pastel pinks, everything, and then a pink pencil as well. And before it was gold plated, uh, I think it was gold plated, yeah it was, and the pencil was yellow. But I decided just to change it up a bit. I really like that. It's cool, isn't it? Look at this gingy restock. The g gingy literally sells out. These smell weird. Oh, my phone's ringing. So before I was rudely interrupted, I think I've ordered 200 of these and this is going to be the last batch of him in this colour because he's had a little bit of a redesign um, in time for Gingy and Spice. And there's Gingy. And he's going to be a permanent fixture in my Etsy store and he's going to kind of just be there all the time. But he looks really cute. <gasps> oh, these look so cute. Exciting! Oh my gosh, they're so sparkly and adorable. Ta -da! So this is my good luck kind of Irish lucky charm at uh, Clover. How cute is that? And he's in green glitter. So there he is. It's so so shiny. I can't even believe how shiny he is. This little boy is a glittery, sparkly, good luck charm for people. So if you go into a job interview or something, I thought it'd be really cute to have him in glitter. I can't believe how shiny and nice quality this is. Look at him. He's so cute, isn't he? Am I right? Or am I right? Cute. I love him. And then we're getting into the final one, which is pudding. I can't wait for my new designs to come. But I like unboxing these with you. And it's pumpkin pudding, rose gold pumpkin pudding. And he literally still sells out, even though he's um, a pumpkin, he still sells out every time I launch him on my store. So I think I ordered a hundred of these, and these guys are little ditty one inch pins. So he's so cute. So yeah, that's everything. All my owl pins. I'm going to put these away. Uh, and I need to, tomorrow, I need to design the backing cards for them and get that sent off, ready for a restock on Sunday. And now, let's get the iPad out and begin making those gingy stickers and then begin making some washi tape. Let's go, shall we?
Okay, so I've just finished designing or doing some illustrations of Ginger and Spice, uh, the Valentine's range on different dates and stuff. So I'm going to put them into the computer and make some sticker sheets out of them. I'm also going to be making a sticker pack so you can buy larger stickers of them because there's quite a lot of detail in them. So I need to do that now. So I'm going to put that in the computer and then I'll show you what it turns out like. Okay, so I've just put it on the computer and laid it all out on Photoshop. And I think I like the way it's turned out. Because they are quite detailed, they're going to have to be fairly large-ish large -ish stickers. Uh, so I'm going to print this out on the Cricut and see how it prints. And yeah, see if I like it. Let's go, shall we? Here we go, use a test print. I'm happy with the size of them. They're about an inch and a half in size, I would say. So now it's just an experiment to cut them out and see what it turns out like. Meanwhile, while that's cutting, I'm going to start doing the washi tape okay so i've just finished designing some washi tape and i am so excited about how these turned out i hope i've done it right i'm not sure i need to send these off to my manufacturer and i've just put it in my computer because i obviously need to get rid of these extra bits so i'm going to do that now and then i'll show you the result okay so this is the final result and this is going to be a valentine's range and this can kind of be like all year round range for like uh, wedding gifts like wedding washi tape or just a cute couple washi tape but this is it so far I really really like it what do you think so I'm gonna send this off to my manufacturer and see what they say okay so I've just done a quick test print to see how large um all the details are just to make sure that they're not too small and you can't see the face and stuff and they look so so cute oh my gosh i hope they turn out okay i think now what i need to do is um put them next to each other to see what it looks like on a roll just maybe three pieces but what do you think which one's your favorite obviously these two are just like filler washi tapes but i thought they'd be cute in planners and stuff for our february um but these two are great which one do you prefer do you like gingy and spice or oh, do you like pudding i am honestly so excited for these um i love stationery if any of you that don't know and i have a rack over here full of washi tape so to design my own is super super exciting and it's something that i wanted to do for quite a while now like literally over a year but i just didn't know where to start but my new year's resolution was to start and get some new product ranges out and go out my company zone so this is going to be fun to see how it turns out so i'm really excited <laughs> so i've sent that off to my manufacturer and i'm going to call it a day today and we'll probably get in close to the end of the vlog but i have some of your goodies to open um tomorrow with emily because someone uh one of you guys said they want to like to see emily's reaction so i'm going to get emily to sit down and we're going to open the little goodies that we got there's not many but it's uh, cute to open them in front of you guys. So I will see you tomorrow. It is quite late now and I'm hungry and want my tea. Yay to wash it up. So excited. I almost forgot to show you how Gingy and Spice sticker set turned out. So I'm also going to be making a sticker set where you can just get each one of these on a page. So without the mixed ones. But I think they turned out really, really cute. And Gingy and Spice are going on a date. Look at them. And they worked out perfect sizes as well because you can still see all the details really clearly. But they are quite large, um, to be honest. But there's my thumb for comparison. So, yay, they're cute. What do you think? Oh my goodness. Hello, guys. Yes, it is a different day. I got so swept away yesterday and making orders and getting everything out that I totally forgot to end the vlog. <laughs> So here I am, uh, it is now Friday, I have just finished packaging, it's about half two in the afternoon. Uh, I, finishing, I finished packing orders, obviously with Emily being off sick, um, I've had to kind of do a lot, like try and catch up by jumping on orders and stuff again. So now that I'm all caught up, I have a few goodies to open because it's getting to that time in the vlog again. So let's open the goodies, shall we? Oh, I love these bags. That's really cute. Her business is called Splash of Unicorn. And these are some handmade, they look like handmade resin pins. They are so cute and sparkly. I absolutely love them. I used to work with resin quite a lot because I used to make handmade pins because pins are obviously very expensive uh, to get in. 
and I used to make them on shrink plastic. I might do a video about that. Let me know uh, down below. Um, I used to make them on shrink plastic and then put resin over the top and dry cure it over 72 hours. Obviously, it's not sustainable now, but it helped fund my first set of pins by selling those products because every bit of profit I made on those pins, I put aside to pay for my own pins, my first um, ever enamel pin. And she's also sent me a lovely card as well so thank you so much and this is her uh, company if you want to check her out i really love your logo it's adorable and then the next one i've got is this little box which is really cute and look there's dobby if any of you follow me on instagram or anything you'll know that daisy like i always call her dobby because she has these little dobby ears and that's my dog for anyone who doesn't know she's like a cross between a labrador and a whippet look how nice this packaging is <gasps> that's so cute and that's their etsy shop there if anyone wants to go check them out look at this little homemade christmas pudding how cute i love whimsical stuff like this it's so adorable this is so cute and you've put so much effort into all of this oh there's even more stuff <laughs> i love her letter she's wrote like green got to me i've rambled and still need to explain pudding buff <laughs> so cute she's also put in some really cute um harry potter and fantastic beast goodies thank you so much for that sophie and the way you packaged everything and put all this thought and detail into it is absolutely amazing thank you and this is from cuddle kettle i remember these emailing me actually so if you want to uh, check these guys out oh that's so cute it's so different and unique and this is similar to what I was on about when I used to make my handmade pins. How cute is that? The quality is really nice on handmade pins. A lot. If you have um, limited resources and you want to get into pin designing, you could look into doing shrink plastic pins because that's uh, what I did. And then there's also this little paper clip which is so, so cute. Thank you very, very much. And then we're moving on to the last one. Um, it's not feel the same without Emily here because normally I do these unboxing uh, with Emily and it feels a bit quiet and uh, oh, this is really pretty. That pin looks amazing. It's a pencil shaped like a love heart. It's amazing. It's amazing for artists and stuff. I love that pin. It's beautiful. Seriously. And then look at this Sailor Moon card. It's such nice quality too with a pink envelope which is amazing and this is from glory and this is where you can find her online and she has beautiful art and if anyone wants to get those enamel pins head on over here so you can go check her out such nice quality too oops my camera died and then the final thing is this beautiful watercolor leaf greeting card so thank you so 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 much for that glory it's amazing so yeah that pretty wraps up the end of this vlog honestly this vlog has been the longest footage it's from friday to friday four weeks worth of work not that you've seen all the other bits i'm sorry about that but it's just been a little bit hectic this week and as always thank you so 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 much to wix.com for sponsoring this video today without them i wouldn't be able to keep doing regular content like this if you are looking at building an e-commerce store or a website or portfolio for your artwork for your artwork or a blog or something um i would seriously go check out wix.com those of you who are existing to my channel know that i i have had a website with wix for over three years now since i started my business and i am so happy with the service that they provide they are amazing their user interface is literally a dream to use it's a case of dragging and dropping and they've got thousands and thousands and thousands of templates to choose from so if you're looking at building a website or something like that or an art blog or anything like that i would seriously go check out wix.com because i am very happy and i can't imagine myself using anyone else in the near future so thank you so much to wix.com so that's it for this week's studio vlog i hope you like it i'm sorry these are a little bit later this week's been a little bit hectic for me trying to get stuff sorted while emily was off 
and I normally like to upload my studio vlogs on a Thursday so I'm very sorry that this is late but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Alright then, I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye!